In today's video, I'm going to be doing the part two for the blindly picking my TBR. I have seven books here. I'm going to be doing three in this video and I don't need to wrap them or anything. I just need to get through them. This challenge is just really good for me personally. The other books that I read in the video before this were four stars and five stars, so it was successful. So hopefully this part is really good too. I'm going to get Siri to pick a number between three and 11 and if I get a number that's like not there, then I'll just like do it again. Also, I really don't want to call in Hoover book. There's two in here. Hopefully I don't get one. Yeah, just thought I would let you know. If I get one, it might be good. It might be bad. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to get reminders of him. But I don't want that. I want the do-over. I really want the do-over. Or a good girl's guide to murder. Pick a number between 3 and 11. The answer is 7. Shit, what the hell is 7? I think I know what 7 is. 7 is... I think seven is mini. My dog keeps barking. Here we go, I got seven. I think I know what it is. Oh, maybe it's not. I thought it was things we leave unfinished. The hell? I'm actually, okay. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Here we go. This has been on my TBR for months since the start of like my reading journey. And today is the day that we are finally getting to it. I'm actually not mad. So I'm going to get straight into this and I'll see you in the next clip. I'm back with my sister. And we're going to clean her car. Well, she's going to clean it. I'm going to watch and read. Because I'm reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I have only read a couple more pages from where I last left. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I got an Amazon book package today. Like, I ordered some books. I got them today. And one of them was The Silent Patient. And she started reading it. And I'm going to update you if she gets into it. I reckon I'll get into it. Because if she gets into reading, my life goal is complete. Um, yeah. And I'm also, I'm really liking this book. It's really good. I think I know, like, kind of, like, what's going to happen. Because... I think I have some predictions, and my first prediction is that the Cell Sin guy didn't actually um, neck himself. I actually think that he was set up, and someone killed himself, and someone killed him to make it look like he killed himself. You know what I mean? Staged a suicide. Yeah, that's what I think happened because I just believe in the Cell guy. Like, um, I really like him. I really like Ravi. I really like Pip. I really like Ravi and Pip together. It's really good so far. Cute couple words. Yeah, and this is speaking to my true crime heart. So we're just gonna continue reading. I don't think you have a true crime heart. Are you still, I love, what are you talking about? If you like true crime videos on YouTube, you don't like this. Anyway, we're gonna go driving and I'm gonna update you when something crazy happens. Goodbye. Little bitch. Who do you think you are? Okay, I'm back. I'm super hyper. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I had a coffee and a nap before the coffee. But yesterday, like I didn't restart it, but I got back into A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And this book has been such a weird read because I'm obsessed with the book. I just have been reading it really slowly and you wouldn't think I would because you get to find out who murdered Andy Bell in the end and you'd think that would like motivate me to finish reading it really quickly. But I've just been reading it like really slow and like I don't know when I filmed the last clip but it was like quite a while ago. So we're gonna almost find out who the murderer is I have I still have a fair chunk but I really don't know who it's gonna be I am just like so excited to find out who but I hope it's not who I think it is because I want it to be like a shock and I have two people that I think it's like like not obvious but I like I'm guessing and I hope it's one of them because then I feel like cool but like I just this the way this is written and the way it's set out and the way Pip and Ravi are like just like their whole relationship is like amazing and I'm so excited to continue on with the next 
books in the series, I actually got the second book from the library today and I'm probably going to start it pretty soon after this, probably straight away to be honest. Um, I'm finishing this tonight, that is my goal. After I finish this, I can unwrap another book, but I'm probably going to go into Good Girl Bad Blood, so I might not unwrap it straight away, but I guess we'll see. And we're getting to like the last five or so books, so we're probably going to get a Colleen Hoover one sooner or later, and I'm probably going to get a Colleen Hoover one. I really don't want a Colleen Hoover one. I want Carrie Soto's back. Or Percy Jackson. I forgot I wrapped that one up. I want Percy Jackson. I'm going to finish this one, tell you my thoughts. Okay, so I finished this book maybe like two hours ago. Oh my god, I am I'm just so happy I did this challenge to begin with and I have been procrastinating this book for ages like I said and I'm so happy that I finally read it and just just got to see what it was all about because everyone said this was like a YA murder mystery. Like it is YA but at the same time it kind of has some like darker themes to it and the way some people were describing this like YA I just didn't really expect it to be as dark not in the sense of like the writing style but just in the sense of like the topics that it covers and I just didn't expect it to be like as like serious topics and all that I just love this book I loved it so much I actually guessed who the killer was and I'm like proud like obviously like who doesn't want to like figure out like who it is but it still shocked me like at the same time and there were just so many different turns and twists and like you couldn't really see exactly where it was going and it just unfolded like perfectly and I gave it a five stars. I actually went to the library yesterday and I found Good Girl Bad Blood. I was going to buy the rest of the books in the series but I thought you know what I don't need to buy any more books I'm just gonna read all the ones I have physically and then I'm gonna buy more and this was luckily at the library and I have already started reading this. I really love it like already and Pip and Rabby I love them. I actually love them so much. Like, there's nothing wrong with them. They're literally perfect. And I like the way this book got straight into, like, just, like, where it left off. And I think it's really good. Some people say that the first book ended, like, fine and, like, you didn't really need the other books. But I honestly love the, like, characters and the story so much that I want more. And I'm just glad that I got this from the library. That's so lucky because I wanted to go straight onto this one. I'm going to continue reading it, but I'm also going to to blindly pick another book. I'm gonna go get my trolley. It's in my room, so I'll be back. Okay, I actually didn't get my trolley. I just got all the books because we have five books. You're probably wondering, weren't there six books? Well, I actually unwrapped the do-over. I figured out which one it was. I didn't look through all of them, I just like kind of like knew and I read that and it was good but I'm still going to pick out a number for these books um, and I'm going to get Siri to pick a number. Hey Siri, pick a number between 3 and 11. It's 4. Okay, we got four. I am praying to God this isn't the book I think it is. I don't want to call in her book and I think that my luck has ended, but I'm hoping it's Carrie Soto. So this is four. It's one of the big ones. I actually did want Percy Jackson, which I'm, I wrapped that up, I'm pretty sure. But we have this one. Now this could either be Carrie Soto or it ends with us. Oh no, it starts with us. I don't know why I bought it starts with us. It was like half price, so I was like... I might as well get it. And I didn't hate It Ends With Us. I just, like, kind of am, like, sick of Colleen Hoover. Like, I don't know. It's so weird because she's literally who got me into reading. But I hate talking about her because I don't want to get attacked if I say I like some of her books. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, let's just unwrap this. I'm going to... My luck has ended. I guess I'm gonna have to try and read this in the next couple of... Oh wait, the font is like massive. Wow, I did not, I like did not realize that. And this book is actually massive. I actually did also start reading this um, as well. I'm on page nine. This book is like, oh, this book is like just 300 pages. So I should be able to finish it pretty quick. I don't know really what to expect. I just like, I just don't care, but I got it for the challenge. I might be pleasantly surprised. Who knows? I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm not going to go in to it being like Colleen Hoover wrote it I'm gonna hate it because I feel like I don't want to do that you know like I'm just gonna read it for what it is and just tell you what I think okay hello I am back 
like literally nine months later I just left this video and I haven't like gone back to it I kind of like forgot about it I never got around to reading it starts with us just because one I didn't want to read it and two I gave it away to someone like to borrow I haven't given it back yet which is fine because I don't want to read that book and I don't plan on reading it I didn't hear very good things about it and I just had no motivation to read it so then this video just like stopped there and like I just didn't get back around to like finishing the video off so I thought you know what I'm either going to delete this video or I'm just going to post it and just you know just just post it why not but yeah this is like an old eyes video and if you did enjoy it thank you for watching I will do more stuff like this if you did enjoy it um I just didn't get around to reading it um but yeah I hope you enjoyed I actually haven't finished Good Girls Guide to Murder the last book I haven't finished that yet so I need to get around to it because this re-watching this edit made me want to finish the series but yeah I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>